Hello everyone, I'm King Bombeard and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Black. In the last episode, we got to the top of the Celestial Tower, got our final team member, which was a uh, Litwick, which we've called Lumiere. And in this episode, we're going to go take on the gym of Skylar. <sighs> anyway, I'm getting distracted. Um... <laughs> Um, that's a really bad joke, I know, that Skylar's the attractive one, but still. Um, also, it's nice to see, like, this type of gym leader, so, it's very rare you get flying types. So, I've actually got to look up what level it is just so her Pokemon are, just to see what, um, like just the overall levels, and... Hagen Dars and Aragog are actually fine to do it. Lumia doesn't have the thing anymore. Uh, I have given it the spell tag, which increases ghost type moves. I'm actually going to do some level teaching right now. Oh, not level teaching, attack teaching right now. Just to sort of prepare for the gym. Who can learn Shadow Claw? Just so we got some stabby stab moves. Zelda can. Go on, Zelda. Um, I'm going to get rid of Torment because I don't actually use it. I know I got rid of Assurance because I said I got rid I got Assurance because I didn't. I said I didn't use it. Uh, Volt Switch. I'm going to teach definitely to um, Aragog. Just so because it's actually probably better than Electro Ball. Electro Ball is just a little bit unreliable. I'm keeping Electro Web just in case. Struggle bug. It's actually probably not a good attack. I'm just seeing if it's got a better stat than um Bug Bite. That's what we should do. Bug Bite 60. No, Bug Bite is a better attack than Struggle Bug. So no, I'm not going to I'm gonna give up on it. Good. And can anyone learn Bulldoze? No one can learn Bulldoze. Uh, grass Knot, I know loads of Pokemon can learn. Um, that's it, really. No one can learn Fly. So, into the gym we go. Uh, so, let's do this. Take this fresh water. <laughs> you really don't care anymore, do you? Rock, Electric, and Ice are the Pokemon we should use. And we have two of those. We have electric and ice. So we're good. So this gym involves cannons. Because bitches love cannons. If anyone can comment what reference that is from in the description, you get a cookie. That's all I'm going to say. So there's a cannon puzzle. Basically, you get shot out of cannons. You got to battle trainers and whatnot to get through. So, let us battle this. What do you think about the cannons? Yay, cannon time. So, we're actually going to see our Pokemon do wonders here. Cliff, and he has Tranquil. Okay. Go on, hagen -Dazs. We have Pokemon built for this gym. And, of course, you detect because you're an asshat. Um... Taunt, that's fine. You're going to be dead in one hit anyway. Hopefully, if all goes well. Yay! Another Tranquil. No, use Avalan Avalanche on you. Air Slash. Did a decent amount of damage, but we got ice type moves on our side, so boom, boom, you're dead. See what I mean? This gym's gonna be really easy. For Hagen Dars and Aragog, anyway. Um, I'm gonna battle you now, just so I don't have to, like, ruin or screw myself over with a puzzle and have to fight you anyway. Brady. Duckler! It's a duck! And it's actually 
probably better to use Joltik on this one, I'd say. Using Aragog would probably be a better bet. Go on, Aragog. Uh, why, you're probably wondering. Um, yes, it's a flying type. As you can tell, it's blue and it's a duck. Um, so, water. <laughs> and it uses Aqua Ring, so it heals itself every turn now. Bolt switch. Whoa, okay. I didn't realize that. That it only gives you like 10 PP per thing. That's weird. I'm going to screw level 32. Woo bat. I'm going to keep battling. Aragog. Should do fine here. Volt switch. Air slash. It. Oh. Volt switch. Calm mind. I haven't seen a Woo Bat in ages. We've been seeing um its evolved form, but Volt Switch. Boosh! Didn't kill it. It's fine. And go and hug and dust. Icy wind. It should just take it out in one hit, really. Hopefully. I know I'm using a special attack and he's just raised a special um, defense three times. But we killed it. It's fine. Hagen Das is a beast. And Aragog is just a spider. An awesome spider. They're actually, this is why I had those two Pokemon in mind, really, for this gym. Because I knew there was a flying type gym. And I knew that these two Pokemon would be our best bet for it. Kaboom! You're a pilot. I think that's his class, actually. He's a pilot. I'm going to heal everyone. Get these two. And battle the pilot. Yeah, I'm a pilot. Cool! Pilot guy. Let's do this. What Pokemon have you got? Ducklet. Okay, so Hagen does. Hagen does. Uh, Aragog. I'm going to use Aragog for this because electric. He's probably the better bet. Yeah, Slash. Holy shit. Volt switch. Does. <laughs> Having Volt Switch is ridiculously cheap, I know, but come on, it's fine. Sigilith. Um, if I knew he had a Sigilith, I would have sent Zelda out straight away, because Zelda's probably our best bet for Sigilith. Zelda has two attacks for it now, so... Let's look at that Shadow Claw, shall we? Okay. Assurance. Boom. Done. That was good. That was Zelda's like, time to shine in this battle. Grid level 33. Let's just carry on. Boom. Knew that would happen, so I'm glad I took that trainer out. And go down and take the cannon backwards. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna go get items anyway. Yeah, I was gonna go get items anyway. I already wasn't, but okay. Thanks, Jim. Do, 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 do. I want PP brought back, please. Give me my PP right now. 
I don't know why it did that. Something's going wrong right now, and I'm hyper potioning it. Getting 20 hyper potions because it's broken to do that. Just keep going. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Through the door. Okay. So, back in the gym after buying some potions. I bought loads of super potions. Oh, not super potions. Um, hyper potions. Okay, let's think about this for a second. This must really hurt, this gym. Because, obviously, you're getting shot out of goddamn cannons. Is there any space at the bottom of it? No, there's not. Aha, there's a path down here, maybe? No. Um. This gym is actually confusing me. Aha! There we go. <laughs> I knew there was one where you could go the other direction. Over here, battle with this guy. And then we can get on our way. Chase. Unpheasant, which is the evolved form of Tranquil. And I'm going to use an Avalanche and hopefully get rid of it in one hit. No, okay. Hopefully I can freeze it. If I freeze it, then I'll be really happy, but... If not, that's fine. Speed lowered. Okay, just keep using Icy Wind until it's really slow and then I can do it. I'll just keep hitting it with this attack and keep hitting it with Icy Wind until it dies. Wind. Done. Okay. That's all I needed to do. Just hit it twice with Icy Wind and then it would win. Go and Hagen Dust. Note how the two Pokemon that are winning in this gym are not even fully evolved. They're both close to evolving, but then neither of them are fully evolved, so. That makes it even more upsetting for you. Worker Arnold. Arnold! As a Subat! I apologize and I will never do that voice again, ever in my life. Level 33. Avalanche. Air slash. Holy moly, free holy. Avalanche. One hit KO. Sweet! Hagadas is now level 33 too. Whoopy doop, whoopy doop, shoopy whoop, doopy doop, shoopy whoop, shoopity whoop. Okay, let's um compose ourselves a little bit and have Aragog oh, compose ourselves. Get um arrange ourselves. That's what I wanted to say. And let Hagen does have a bit of a break. Let's. Take the cannon over here. So we're on our way to the gym leader. So after this cannon, our two, last two cannons, we'll be facing. Ow! Oh, ow, my nose! You're evil, Skylar. 
I've been waiting for you. Did you enjoy flying with the help of the Mistralton gym cannons? They're my pride and joy. This time, let's try something else. Gym leader number six, Skylar. I am gonna put aside my feelings towards Skylar and just kick some ass. She starts off as a Swoobat. It's a Swoobat. Level 33. Aragog. Bolt switch. Hot stamp. Ow! Volt switch! Jeez! Oh. Hagen dolls, get in there! Have some Hagen dolls! When I think about a match with a fabulous trainer like you, it's like I'm walking on air. Icy wind? Heart stamp. Ugh. And there's my. Oh, it could potentially flinch. Acrobatic. Oh no. Um. Shit. Um. Uh. Lumia. Lumia's debut. Hex. Don't kill it, don't kill it, don't go. Oh. Hex! Yay! At least Lumiere got some action in. Swanna! Which is a. the evolved form of Ducklet. And it is what you think it is. It is a swan. Level 35, so this is her strongest Pokemon. Let's fresh water. I don't know what attacks she's got on it. I think we get acrobatics from this gym. Air slash. Let's actually. I don't think I'm fast enough. Aerial Ace. No, I'm not fast enough. Damn it, Aragog. Ugh. I will not lose this gym. I'm just throwing that out there. I will not lose this. Poseidon. I can overcome this. I have revives. Aragog. Then Super Potion Aragog I knew you had Aqua Ring, I just don't know why you didn't use it before. Now let's revive Hagendas as well. Poseidon's good for like shielding in this gym. And then not very good for taking any damage on the trainer. Razor Shell will do not much, but at least we've got some damage off, and then we can see that Aqua Ring is definitely in effect. A real ace. Right, that's Poseidon done, but Rocky Helmet took some more damage off of it, which is good. That's what I wanted. And now, who are we going to have out? Aragog, obviously. <laughs> Aragog! Aragog! Electroweb. Are you serious, Jim? Are you goddamn freaking serious? Hagen does. No, Zelda. This is a pain in the ass. This is all I gotta say. Let's heal Aragog. And 
then Aragog. Electroweb. Thank you. Got some damage off. Finally. I still don't think we're faster than it. But we'll give it a go. Aerial Ace. That's going to kill us. Thought so. Damn it, Aragog! How good does. Now... No, I have to heal... I have to heal, um... Aragog. hagen does. I'm sorry, but Aragog is more important to this gym. Dizzy, I'm very sorry, but Meat Shield. Just for this while I heal. Aragog. Dizzy, just defend. Dizzy, you wonderful, wonderful Pokemon. Poison powder. Yes! Yes, Dizzy, you did it! <laughs> you did it, but in the end, that's all you needed to do. Thank you, Dizzy. Thanks for poisoning it. This will help Aragog finish it off. Electroweb. Air slash. Don't make me flinch. Yes! Good. And with that, the strongest Pokemon, Skylar's strongest Pokemon, is gone. Level 33. Maybe a whole other level after that. Unpheasant. I'm going to keep battling. This is the female Unpheasant. This is my last Pokemon, but I'll never give up hope. Quick attack. Shite. Um, Lumiere. can only really use you as a meat shield as well. Go on Hagadar. Healing Hagadars, then I'll heal Aragog. Oh dear. Um... <laughs> Razor wins actually what she gives me, I think. Let's heal Aragog. Hold on, Hagendas. Thank you. Aragog. Razor wind again. Electroweb. Volt switch. Yes! Take it out. Yes! In your face! Level 34. Want to learn signal beam? Yes! Go for it. Signal Beam is a special attack and it is better than Bug Bite. So let's forget Bug Bite. We've got Bug Bite and Learned Signal Beam. Ah. Being your opponent in battle is a new source of strength to me. Thank you. You're an amazing Pokemon trainer. My Pokemon and I are happy, because for the first time in a while, we could f fight with our full strength. This is an official League Gym Badge. I think it'll look good on you.
We got the jet badge. Wow, hot stuff. With that many gym badges, Pokemon up to level 70 will obey you. Also, as thanks for a Pokemon battle that made me very happy, I want you to have this TM. My present to you is acrobatics. If the user doesn't have a held item, its power doubles. It's a pretty technical move. Be sure to compensate for the lack of a held item. By the way, when I flew over Twist Mountain on the way to Icarus City, Team Plasma, is that their name? Anyway, they were heading for the city. What kind of people are they? Arses, that's what they are. But with that, thank you Skylar for that. And sorry, this is gonna hurt your head. Ah, so with that, we have got ourselves, ah! Don't do that! They may say it is for our understanding one another better, but what trainers really use battles for is to compete. And they hurt each other's Pokemon. Am I the only one who finds this terribly painful? Whatever. I'm going to talk to your Pokemon. I've been living with Pokemon since I was born, so it's easier for me to talk with them than with people. Because Pokemon never tell lies. Hey, would you tell me what kind of trainer Hugo is? Okay, okay, got it. So Hugo was born in Nuvima Town, lives with Mom, and was given the Pokedex to start off a journey to see the world. Guess this is using Team Plasma to search for some special stones. The Light Stone and the Dark Stone. These stones hold the essence of two legendary Pokemon. It is said that when they lost their physical form, they fell into slumber and were transformed. Now they wait for the hero's arrival. I shall resurrect a legendary dragon type Pokemon from one of these stones and become its friend. That will show the world that I am the new hero. Everyone will follow what I say. My vision is to change the world without using force. Trying to change the world by force will just make others resist. If people resist, the ones that will be hurt are the innocent Pokemon used by foolish trainers. You understand. Pokemon are not just tools for people to use. As a result, Pokemon and trainers who care about one another, like you and your Pokemon, will be separated. And that does break my heart a little. That made me rethink my entire thing about slaves for five seconds. But thank you very much for watching. I'm King Bombid. If you like, just saw, like, comment, and subscribe. And next time on Let's Play Pokemon Black, we will head towards Twist Mountain. And we will get through there, hopefully. So, if you liked any of the voice actors in this episode, please go down to the description. The links are down there. And I shall see you all next time.